When you click on that, you are going to create your login details. Now, your login details would require you to use a valid email address. Please, I really do advise you to use a valid email address because that is the address that Babcock will be sending you um, information that you might need or your batch, which batch you are going to be under, either batch A, batch B, batch C, where you are going to resume, your dress code, this, this and that. So I really do advise to put a valid email address, something that you actually have um, access to. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Tira Shikwadi. I'm a content creator and an artist. Please like this video. Please share. Please turn on my post notifications and please subscribe. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys the detailed application process of Babcock University. I'm going to be putting right here the pictures of the application process. So if you can't follow my words, if you cannot understand what I'm saying if you, if you think I'm talking too fast the picture showing the instructions of the application process will be right here so you can easily just pause the video take a screenshot or pause the video and read through any one of your choice now without further ado let's get right into the video step one you are going to visit the link to start your application process now this link i'm going to put it in the description box below. so when you see that link there will be a start application button so you click on that when you click on that you're going to create your login details now your login details would require you to use a valid email address please i really do advise you to use a valid email address because that is the address that babcock will be sending you um information that you might need or your batch which batch you are going to be under either batch a batch b batch c when you are going to resume your dress code this this and that so i really do advise to put a valid email address something that you actually have um access to and but once you have signed up with this login with your email they will send you a password to that email you will then go back to the link like you're starting all over again. Now select login instead of sign up because now you can log in because you have your password. So you're going to use the email address you 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 signed up with and the password that was sent to you to your email. That's why you're going to use to log in to your um your backup portal. Now your step three. Once you have logged into the backup portal. You're going to fill the form. There's like a form where you're going to fill your name, your date, your name, your date of birth, this, your wife results, your job results, this, this, that, this, that. Basically, required information that they will need you to um to give. You're going to fill in that form. Please make sure it's correct because once you fill that form, that's going to be the, the information that will use throughout your Babcock stay. And I don't think you want to be having any issues in the middle. Once you're not filling the form, there's a button you can click. You can either click save the form and continue later. Maybe there's some things that are in the form that you don't know, you don't know the answer to. Maybe your mom's middle name or your dad's middle name. I don't know anything or your dad's date of birth. So you can click on save the form and continue later. You can click on save the form and move to the next step. Or you can click on save the form and submit. Once you have completely done with the form and you are certain that you are feeling the correct thing, you can save the phone. You can click on save the phone and go to the next step. You're going to upload your passport according to the specific size and JPG format. Now, after that, you're going to select your screening center and your screening date. So you are the one that will select that yourself. So if you actually do miss it, you're on your own. You are the one that are giving the opportunity to select yourself because that is when you'll be available so there'll be like a, a list of dates on a list of time that they are available then you will be the one to stop which one you actually are available which one you feel like okay, you can work with or your parents come up because your parents are definitely going to bring you to the screening center um backup does not have a post-gtma we don't do exams 
they'll just screen you in the screen they'll ask you a couple of questions um why you want to study in Babcock, why you want to study the course those kind of questions and you should prepare for it actually they have different screening centers they have in lagos they have in abuja they have sham it depends on where you are living or, or where you can how close you can travel or which state you can travel to that's close to your state so you're not our pick as i say you're not our pick you're not convenience yourself after you are done picking your screening date and your screening time um Backup will now send you your application ID. So you take that your application ID to the bank and you need to pay a Babcock application fee. I can't remember how much I own was because that was like four years ago. But I don't know how much. I'm sure it, by the time you start your application process, the correct amount would be stated there. Now the banks that you are meant to go to would also be in the picture that I'll be putting up here. Step four. Once your payment is done, you're supposed to log into your application site with your email and the password sent to you. And you can then click submit because you have paid your application fee. Now, step five, you're supposed to print your completed application form. You're supposed to print it out and you're supposed to bring it with you to the screening center. I think my screening center was school itself. Because the first time, the first question that I went to was in Keja. And I can't remember, something happened that we were not able to enter inside. One thing, one thing happened. So, some people were not able to get screened. So, we, my dad then took us to, you know, the mountain itself. <laughs> he took me to um, school itself. That's where I did my screening. Now, one thing I'm not sure of is if the screening is online. Because when COVID started, screen was online so they are calling that your phone number of your zone so now i'm not sure if it's going to be on site or online but i'm sure that you would definitely know which one it is once you actually start your application if you start your application process you will know what you will know which one it is so guys this is the end of the video um my next video will probably be the requirements for back up how old are you meant to be what is the cut of mark for jam it is it is it is yeah like the video like share subscribe turn on post notification and i'll see you in my next new video